Hello friends, Dave Hartwell here. Last November, Phil Williams asked the question to those of us on worshipthe-rock.com, what are five of your favorite chords that you use to, that you like to use? And uh, it generated such great discussion that I thought that today what we might do is take a look at those chords, see what the fingering is, what they sound like, which hopefully will inspire you to maybe write some new songs or take some old songs and breathe some new life into it. So, welcome. Before we get started, get however, started. I'm going to go ahead and give you my low E that you can tune to. So, if you're going to play along, you'll be able to be in the same tune that my guitar is. And the high E. The most common thing that people right, liked uh, that brought up was A2. And it turns out A2 can be played on the 2nd fret, on the 6th and the 7th fret. Can be played up here on the 9th and 11th fret, or the 9th and the 9th fret, or the 7th and the 9th fret. A lot of these chords are going to start coming at you pretty fast. I've got it um, being annotated so you can just stop it and take a look at that. Uh, so then Shea, Abram Bashan put the F sharp over the A2 and said that it's a nice replacement for your a F sharp minor. So if you've got that, it's a nice open sound for an F sharp minor. Then Shane Go responded to that and said, well, yeah, dude, but if you do that, you can also you can do the A2 over F sharp or the E over G sharp, uh, which is pretty neat. And you could also throw that, if you wanted that, throw that on that way. Um, and they point that out that that's some of the chords that you use for We Fall Down progression. Very neat, very, very pretty. Up on the 7th and 9th fret, we have your E, which is a standard E. Right there, a lot of folks use that. Uh, Naomi So then threw in a very sweet progression, which I thought I would start off with. It's your E, and then it drops down using your E over your D sharp, and then C sharp minor 7, going down to an A2. And there's your A2 right there. Next we get into, uh, Chris Platt gave us the D open E, which goes right along with your A2 and your B minor and your, or your B and your C sharp minor, right there. But he also gave us a uh, E minor ninth, which is right there. You can think about the E minor ninth as being an E minor with the seventh and then the ninth added there which goes very well with a C. Very, very pretty. E minor ninth. Alex Morris gave us the G augmented, which by itself doesn't sound like a, a great chord. You look at that and go, what am I going to do with that? But it actually is great when you're like, You are God in heaven. There's your G augmented. And here am I on earth. Right there. Kevin Watkins gave us a couple of great chords. I'm only going to play a couple of them. Um, out of your A2 class, he gave us your A2, putting you the B there, so you can get an A2 minor. which I'll point out you can also get right there which is a John Michael Talbot type of sound and then uh, he did the same thing with your E minor and you could do your major After Chris wrote in with that uh, E minor ninth, Naomi So wrote in and pointed out that the uh, that same technique can be used for a G major seventh and an E minor seventh and a C two. Which is pretty neat. 
Matt Budry writes in and says, you know, I like my D major 7th. It's just a neat chord sometimes. And there's a place for it in his heart. <laughs> Your D2 over B is sort of a neat kind of chord. Um, Wayne Powell writes in and says, I like the blues sometimes. He gets into a bluesy kind of... B7. Mike Tippett wrote in and added D add 9, um, which is easier to play than it is to say. You might use that when uh, you want it instead of a D. So Paul Beloshi will, like, will do that a real lot because he loves the open E's resounding sound. So Lord of the Ander. Lord of heaven and earth Hallelujah There you go. My buddy David Estes wrote in and talked about the C-sharp minor 7th. He does mention that it can replace an E when you want to have that uh, G-sharp there. I really like that. Great when you're using it in E. Jason Buckner and Al Hagendorf wrote on and had different versions of E, which are really nice. Uh, Jason had written in and talked about your um, E5, which is E5, no 3. Very neat. And I like that. And Al wrote in, Al Hagendorf, and wrote about E2 sus. And I'm going to wrap up this little video now with different stupid E tricks I think you can play. Okay. Well, I hope this has been instructive and fun to watch as much as it has been to record. I want to apologize up front for anyone's name who I mispronounced and uh, I wish you all the Lord's grace, mercy, and peace be upon you as you worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen.